program Kazakhstan International Vectors – International Relations, Political Views, Economic Solutions and Social Innovations. Further you will find out how the Great Silk Road is reviving, why did the World Bank allocate a record amount for the road construction in Kazakhstan and what will be sold at Kogos and to whom. Commerce links all mankind in one common brotherhood of mutual dependence and interests. James A. Garfield, the 20th President of the United States. The road network development largely determines the development of the state as a whole. Kazakhstan for several years been involved in the construction of the motorway called Western Europe, Western China. Almost all the materials and designs available today are being delivered by Kazakhstani enterprises. In the process of construction of bridges, in the process of production of bridge products, very stringent requirements act. In order to release the bridge girder, bridge beam, it passes very strict requirements. Requirements for materials are very severe too. This primary deals with metal requirements, cement requirements and inert materials requirements. Therefore, our plant provides the three-step quality control. So the first step is when the material enters the factory, it passes through our lab. I mean all the materials, be it the metal, cement, sand or gravel. Our laboratory checks everything completely. After that, even strict requirements go which are precisely about the structure itself, how the construction is built and then the final result is being checked out by the technical control department of the plant, which puts a stamp design in order to show that the construction is usable. So on our products we give a guarantee for more than 70 years of service. Almaty Bridge Construction Plant has been producing bridge structures for more than 50 years. Today the enterprise produces more than 50 types of structures made from reinforced concrete. One of the largest projects that our plant is involved in is a project of the Western Europe – Western China road construction. You know, this is a very large-scale project. This project affects almost all areas of our country. 80% of reinforced concrete structures, bridge structures for the project were supplied by our factory. I can say this project is a quality product. It is very beautiful and large project. This project has given a second life to our factory. We have increased our productivity level. We have increased the range of manufactured goods, etc. In our country have very strict requirements in design, in construction. Therefore, all loads of all constructions that are built in our country, they stand the requirements. It is necessary to introduce innovations on the plant of this kind. Over the last four years in the production process, nearly 2 billion tenge have been invested. Four technology lines have also been acquired. This will reduce the cost of production by several times. The Great Silk Road was connecting the East Asia to the Mediterranean in ancient times and in the Middle Ages. The road also went through Kazakh steppes. Later, this trade route was replaced by the sea routes. But in the 21st century, again, a question raised about the terrestrial movement of goods. People hear about uh, Central Asia. The first thing that comes to mind is isolation. This is because the region um, used to be mainly connected to the north. The second thing that comes to mind is the Silk Road. And actually the third thing that I would like to mention, which is a very important emerging trade, uh, trend, is that the center of gravity of the world is moving to um, South and East Asia, to China and India. This is where most of the population will live uh, in the not so distant future and most of the economic activity in, uh, in the world will take place. And Central Asia is so strategically located to this um, emerging very important uh, neighborhood. Today, Kazakhstan is building relations with the South and the East. Moreover, Central Asia has a huge advantage being a transit area for goods and services supplied from Southeast Asia to the rest of the world and vice versa. The International Transport Corridor Western Europe – Western China is the route with a length of more than 8.4 thousand kilometers, which by 2020 will connect Europe with the Chinese People's Republic. It runs through territories of Russia, Kazakhstan and China. Its construction is being carried out since 2008. 
The new road for Kazakhstan means new opportunities for economic development inside the country. Creation of the infrastructure will enable local producers to supply their products to both domestic and foreign markets. This is a chance for business development and improvement of the life quality. You know, the surface of Kazakhstan is equal to the surface of uh, um, Western Europe. Um, it has a vast territory and it is important that um, people who live in different uh, areas in Kazakhstan are connected so that um, farmers and entrepreneurs can have access to the consumers in the cities and in other parts of uh, Kazakhstan. Recognizing these huge opportunities for the region uh, which uh, exist outside the region, but also huge opportunities which exist inside of the region. The construction of the highway is being invested by different foreign investors, including the largest Chinese banks. For this project, the World Bank has allocated 3 billion US dollars of borrowed funds. What are Kazakhstani roads made from? How Kogos will become an international center of business activity. When the World Bank was allocating its funds for the construction of roads in Central Asia, its experts carried out their own analysis of the motorway project, which will connect Western Europe and Western China. The international financial institution concluded that this program is very advantageous, both from an economic and social point of view. And when we were designing with our counterparts uh, our investment, we were also considering uh, the notion of job creation and the notion of helping the local industry um, to, to get up to speed with construction, to be able to uh, be in, in, in touch with new methodology and new techniques. Uh, so this is um, what we had in mind when we planned to help the government. Two-thirds of the allocated funds, that is, about two billion US dollars given by the central bank Kazakhstan, has already been spent. Today, the road construction passes under the experts control of the World Bank. A very good dialogue has been constructed with the local population. Their requests for underpasses and so on were scrupulously considered. We are very grateful to the Committee of Highways, which has become the implementing agency for this project of Western Europe, Western China. They did a massive job. There was a lot of effort on their part in order to let Kazakhstanis enjoy the ride on this stretch of road. I mean the border of Aktobe region, whole Kazaloroda region, South Kazakhstan region till the border of Jambul region and the area of Almaty Kogos of 305 kilometers. During the construction, all environmental standards and safety standards were met for people who work on the sites. This project involved about 35,000 people directly in the construction and the related industries. The majority of workers are from the local population. New productions are being opened. In particular, during the implementation of the project, two new bitumen plants in Aktau and Shimkent were put into operation, which together with the existing two in Pavoda and here in Almaty, we also have two plants have completely covered the deficit of bitumen. That is, today, we do not need bitumen from other regions, we do not engage with other republics in this issue. Cement plants are also being opened and modernized. If five years ago the share of domestic materials in the road construction was 80%, today it has raised up to 95%. The total length of the transport corridor along the route St. Petersburg, Moscow, Nizhny Novgorod, Kazan, Orenburg, Aktober, Kizoroda, Shimkent, Taraz, Kodai, Almaty, Kogos, Urumqi, Lanzhou, Zhengzhou, Yangyanggang is 8,445 kilometers. Of these, 2,233 kilometers are lying through the territory of the Russian Federation, 2,787 kilometers through the territory of the Republic of Kazakhstan, and 3,425 kilometers through the People's Republic of China. However, today in Kazakhstan many other roads are also being reconstructed. 
For the development of transit potential over the past 15 years, the policy on the formation of the transport network in the country is intensively being conducted. Over the years, about 10,000 kilometers of roads have been renovated. The key moment in the development of the road sector was the adoption in 2005 of the state program of infrastructure development called Nurli Jol, where the primary objective was defined – the construction of roads. The program provides for the reconstruction of roads on the 7,000 km distance. These are the projects Western Europe – Western China, the Corridor Center South or the Astana Almaty route, a Corridor Center East or the direction Astana Ustkamenogorsk and the Corridor Center West or the direction Astana Aktau. In Kazakhstan, there are nearly 24,000 kilometers of roads of national importance. This network was formed in the 70s of the last century. To date, the traffic in the country, of course, has changed. Roads are worn out and have a low capacity. The calculated load of roads is about 8 tons, whereas the needed parameter is 13 tons. Since the adoption of the program, let's say for the last two years, the reconstruction of some 1300 kilometers of roads has been conducted, and until the end of 2020, we are planning to complete 3000 kilometers more. Until 2020, it is planned to improve the condition of 90% of the roads of national importance, to build more than 250 objects of roadside service and to increase the volume of transit traffic in times. The land route from China to Europe today passes through Kogos. Through the border between Kazakhstan and China, cargoes are already passing. In addition, operates the International Center for Cross-Border Cooperation, Kogos. The strategy has been worked out for a long time ago. I mean the ICBC, so the border trade zone we have from the Chinese and the Kazakh side. A unique project, unique in the world, in which quite a limited area we have. The 500 acres total, without a visa, up to 30 days people are able to be there. People can go to buy goods there for some exchange of business information. Just live there, to entertain, to have the prospect for both sides how the entertainment venues, businesses, hotels, health centers. The Entertainment and Business Center. This is what ICBC Kogos should become in the future. Today, the priority is the development of trade between nations. This is an opportunity to sell not only the Kazakh and Chinese products, but also products produced in the EAEC countries – Russia, Belarus, Armenia and Kyrgyzstan. The Chinese are also interested in European products, which is a hand for Kazakh businessmen. For smaller producers who make the sausage, it is very hard to build a plant and enter the Chinese market alone. The wholesale volume is not real, but they do want to sell. And ICBC this an opportunity to come and open their own shop, though not large one, or find dealers who will be here to work and sell at retail. On the Kazakh side of Kogos, about 50 legal entities and hundreds of vendors are already running. Investors today are building new shopping centers. The number of jobs here will grow steadily. When the project starts to operate at full capacity, it will provide about 10,000 working places. In 2020, its turnover will reach 1.8 trillion tenge. In the future, ICBC will function in the special economic zone. Kogos could become one of the largest logistics hubs in the world. Due to the construction and reconstruction of roads in Kazakhstan, the number of working places increases. There are opportunities for the economic growth of regions and individual companies. Production moves to international standards. Today our products are export-oriented. We now are involved in a large Russian project of the construction of BAM-2. We also ship our products to Kyrgyzstan, where the pipeline is built and our products are being used there. Today our task is to make products which will meet the European standards. That's just the same. New beams, which we have developed, they meet all European standards. So the same beams they are used in Europe and in America, they are also applied. And now our task is to introduce them to our market, make them more stable, much better girder bridge. 
Last year, we've just launched a new house building plant on the basis of our factory, so we will take an active part in the construction of affordable housing. These are the good prospects we have for our factory.